You remember in Wamu? In 2017 astronomers detected, for the first time, an interstellar object in the inner solar system? What is it? How did it get here? Is it aliens? Discovered on October 19, 2017 by the PanStars 1 Near-Earth Object Survey, Oumuamu challenged astronomers' assumptions about how small bodies from another star system would look. It moved too fast to be an asteroid, in fact it was accelerating, it left no trail of debris, so couldn't be an icy comet, and it also varied in brightness. Is it a fragment of a planet? A space iceberg? An alien spaceship? Since the object is already out of range of existing telescopes there's only one way to find out. A newly published paper about Project Lyra outlines a mission to send a probe to see if Uwamu is as extraordinary as it appears. Theories to explain the nature of 1i slash Uwamu have included a fractal dust aggregate, a hydrogen iceberg, a nitrogen iceberg, an alien solar sail, fragments of a teeth. All explanations have one feature in common, they are extraordinary. In short, we must take a closer look. The paper recommends a mission that launches in February 2028, spends four years getting gravity assist from Earth, twice, Venus and Jupiter before finally reaching Oumuamu in 2050 to 2054. This is in the first attempt to plot a course for Oumuamua, though most of the other attempts have resorted to using an overt maneuver around the Sun. That tactic sees a spacecraft fall into a gravitational well and, as it's falling, use its engines to add more acceleration. Its disadvantage is that a massive shield would be required to protect a probe against the Sun. Instead, Project Lyra employs an overt maneuver around Jupiter. The mission would much more resemble existing interplanetary missions, reads a paper.